Hello guys, so I said that I was gonna do this video I was supposed to do for the two books that Joanna from Joanna Eyre's channel uh, chose for me but since one is non-fiction, I'm gonna do that for my non-fiction November wrap-ups that I put whenever <laughs> I finish one uh, and I'm gonna talk just about uh, the book that I said just the name in Portuguese because apparently this it's called Push in English. I saw Precious, and since that's the name of the movie, my head was like, no, this is called Precious, no. In English, it's called Push. Um, in Portuguese, Precious, uh, a force of my mulher. In English, that would be a strength of a woman. Uh, by Sapphire. <laughs> now, to Joana, don't feel bad that I completely hated this book. <laughs> it's okay, because I would be reading this even if you didn't point it to me. Also, <laughs> do not feel that this is anyway an attack on, on your taste, because we all know that those things in in, in book books and book reviews and the, all our little corner of book lovers, uh, it's subjective, uh, but we all can love and dislike and all of that. So I think I can now bash this to the wall with a hammer, because <laughs> I so hated it. Um, now, first of all, I hated the way that it was written. I completely know what was being done. I know that uh, it's supposed to feel a progression as because let me stop right here because I'm assuming that you guys know what this is just because it's famous and I shouldn't know, do that. This is the story of Clarice uh, Precious Jones and she is the one telling us the story. Um, she's a black woman, she's fat, she's 16 I think when this begins but then it goes back and forth as you explore what happened to her uh, and she cannot read and she is a victim of several types of abuse let's put it like that um, I'm not exactly sure if it says here in the back but yeah she let's just say several types of abuse yeah it was raped by the father and abused by the mother and all of that um but now that could be a very it could be a strong narration could be a very strong uh, story but no <laughs> like as i was starting to say this is written as if uh the the protagonist is is writing it for us in a kind of journal. In part, it would be impossible in the beginning for her to write it because she cannot write, but if you ignore that and think that maybe she started this a little bit after her journal and then she went back and write it, you can't do that mental um, that mental gymnastics. Um, she, of course, the book is not well written because she's supposed to not be able to know how to read or write properly. Even at the end of the book, she still doesn't exactly know how to do it because she's still learning. Um, so you see a progression on the way that the book is written. But it's her voice and she spews hatred and bad words and just it's too much <laughs> it's too much for me i do not i think that it completely loses the the intensity when you are pelted again and again with those type of words and those type of crude descriptions of what happened to her it loses the, the it loses the, the objective that would be to amaze, to, to, not amaze, to shock, the, to shock the reader, words, sorry, um, and it starts getting boring and borderline ridiculous at a point because she just 
is just too much. I know that also the part of spewing right hatred to you, everyone is the thing that happens if you are not showed love. You cannot show love to others as easily as most people. It's it is the cycle of hate. If you are shown hate, you are going to show hate to others. I know all of that, but at the same time, it's... I know people that were really, really hurt. And we all know people that were really, really hurt, but this is too much. <laughs> this is just too much hatred to everyone. Despite of... Uh, uh, any day, it, she just she starts by just hating everyone at the beginning and and talking about everyone in a way that I cannot even. Um, what else? Oh, and as I was saying, there is. Um, I know I like I said I know what they are trying to do. They are trying to show her progression, uh, but at the same time, it it besides that. Uh, showing her, showing her perspective of and how she sees things and how she talks about things, not making it work. I think that it's just not well done overall. Um, I read, for example, the flowers for Al Albergon, Alberhon, Alber. <laughs> Let's say Albergon, because I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that word. Uh, it's a sci-fi about somebody that has a very low IQ and also is not very well in life and it starts, starts telling her own story and as they enter an experiment to gain intelligence uh, the writing, the, the, the writing style, the, the grammar, everything starts improving to a point that is genius and it's it gets from 0 to 80 and it's amazing. Now, I know that it's not exactly the same thing, but they are using the same um, idea behind it, and this is was not good. <laughs> not, not well made. Now, the plot, you would think that would uh, at least be a little bit better. It starts really, really bad. It gets really, really worse. It starts getting worse and worse, and you will think that it would end up with some hope. It does not. It. You could argue that it ends, but that's not hope. <laughs> when you have those many problems in life, this book does not offer a completely satisfactory um, conclusion to the narrative. It doesn't even tell us that you can see that she's gonna make it. Or, um, how to say, it, it, it tries to tell us, oh, she's going to make it because of that. But it's just in such fickle grounds that it doesn't, nobody believes it. Also, I'm noticing that I'm, as I, I'm, I've been hearing this noise through all the week. And I'm just noticing that I'm talking and this noise is in the background. I'm completely deaf to it, but this probably is going to make the whole video a bust. So let's see how this goes. Let's see if I can actually do this video. Uh, anyway, uh, what was saying? The conclusion, yes. They are trying to give us hope, but it's such, it's, it's planted on such fickle grounds that you will not, nobody will believe that everything is gonna end up well, but you also doesn't, don't get as a, anything saying that it's not. It just, this is just a little pick on the life of this person, maybe a pick on, on when the life is getting a little bit better, but this life is gonna have to get a little, not a little bit worse, it's gonna have to be worse before it gets better, if you guys um, know what I mean. If you are down there and you don't know a lot of how society works and you need help and you need to get up there's a lot that you're gonna need to learn to do a lot that you're gonna have to confront yourself with this particular character when you if 
if you look at it, start reading you, you're gonna see that she needs a lot of help. And it's not just the hope, hope, in, in brackets, that they give us on this book that is just gonna take her anywhere. No, she's, she's just gonna come back down again entering cycles of abuse probably not gonna i cannot see this person staying in the job or even managing her future and her kids well i should say it like that it's just i don't know what is the pro the purpose of this book and this narration i am reading a, a book i'm gonna put, put this down because we are than looking at it. I've been reading um, Fire Punch. Uh, I do not remember uh, who is the, the mangaka, the name of the mangaka. I'm gonna, uh, I was thinking and actually doing a video about it. But just to tell you that, uh, that whole manga that I'm just finishing, and I'm on the last volume, uses a, a lot of shock value that I think that it's this book is trying to do in another way that uses a shock value most uh, visually to achieve an end and it works it's well done it was well thought out they know what they are doing when they're doing that that, that manga the artist is not trying to chop to just put that there just to make us go oh my god this is so awful no, he's no, he knows what he's doing. Here, we are just being shown things, bad words, cruel descriptions, the crudest of the crudest descriptions of things. Uh, just for the sake of, say, of us feeling pity of someone that is completely hateful towards the world and I don't know how we are supposed to be able to empathize f fully with that person because it's so much that doesn't feel real at the point. Now, you can argue that people live like this and people have experienced that. And I do not argue this. This is about a book and book form doesn't work. It doesn't pass any message. I know I noticed that Oprah Winfrey uh, put um, how to say it i think this is like one of oprah's books uh in a way because there's uh, a little blurb here by oprah and i think that when the movie came out i i i think i knew that the book the movie was coming out because i heard oprah talking about it because back then i still watch it sometimes because it was like on some of the major uh uh channels here. I don't even remember which one it was. Anyway, uh, this is trying to... I, 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 by Oprah being supporting this, you know, that, and by the things that I've heard from it, I, I think this book was supposed to pass a message, to tell a tale of O's, and then pass some kind of message, but it completely failed for me. This is just bad <laughs> a really bad book that could have been really great i i would lo have loved to actually read her story uh, the story about this character and learn what happens to her and i think it could have been done really great anyway i've been blabbering almost 15 minutes <laughs> about this book i have nothing else to say if i continue talking i'm gonna repeat myself because <laughs> yeah uh, i am not gonna try to to go there again uh so have you read this what do you think again joanna i know you loved it it's fine <laughs> i would have been uh picking up this book anyway um because technically i want to read every book on that library and i'm I would have tried, and, and this is a major book, at least, that gave us a major 
movie. I don't know if exactly the book was major, but I know the movie was. So I would have picked up this thing. So I, I am grateful that you chose this for me and I'm not bad with it. <laughs> I can pass uh, to, to the next one, to the next book. Now I have to say that I'm much, much more enjoying the, Into the, the book Into the Wild that you picked up for me. So that is not going to be um, one of these videos. It's actually going to be a good one. Uh, I mean, me uh, having good feelings towards that book. <laughs> okay, that's, that's all for, for now, guys. Bye.